We're given a right triangle, and our goal is to find the six trigonometric ratios based on this triangle. So as you can see, we have two of the side lengths given to us, actually a side length and the hypotenuse. And we want to find sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So we're going to base this on SOHCAHTOA, where sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So um, let's label the sides as we're given them. So theta is down here on the bottom left as this triangle is drawn. So the two is going to be the opposite side length. The three is going to be the hypotenuse. And we don't know the adjacent side length. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work to find the adjacent side length. For the time being, what I'm going to do is I'm going to label that as just being A. Um, and I get that we have the opposite and the hypotenuse. We could go ahead and fill in for the sign, but let's go ahead first and find all three of the side lengths for our triangle. So to get this adjacent, what we want to do is use the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now it's important to note that the C is always going to be the hypotenuse. So as we fill in here, I'm going to go A squared plus B is going to be two squared equals my hypotenuse three squared. So A squared plus four equals nine, just completing this operation of squaring each one of these. And now to isolate the A squared, I'm going to subtract four from both sides. Nine minus four makes five. And then to get rid of the square, I'm going to apply a square root to both sides. Now, in this case, I'm ignoring the fact that we applied a square root and could use a positive and negative. And why I'm doing that is because this is a side length on a triangle. It kind of only makes sense if that's going to be a positive side length, length or distance. We tend to think of those as only being positive. All right, now that we have all three of our side lengths, let's go and fill in and find sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So as it's labeled, that's going to be two over three. Cosine is the adjacent over hypotenuse, square root of five over three. And then the tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we could say two over the square root of five. So as we look at this, this is not rationalized for our tangent yet. Um, we could do a little bit of work and rationalize this by multiplying numerator and denominator both by the square root of five. This process of rationalizing, what it means is to get rid of any radicals from our denominator. Um, so when we have square root of five times square root of five, that's square root of 25, which is five. And that would probably be the best answer we can get to on this uh, with our denominator cleaned up a little bit. Now for cosecant, secant, and cotangent, what I like to do in these situations is go ahead and remember the reciprocal identities that sine starts with an S, Cosecant starts with a C, there's always going to be a pair of a, an S and a C that go together. They go hand in hand, and what's going to happen is the reciprocal relationships, meaning numerator and denominator, if you invert these or transpose them or flip them upside down, you get the reciprocal. So when sine is 2 over 3, cosecant is going to be 3 over 2. Same thing kind of goes with cosine and secant, that S and a C go hand in hand. We can transpose this, use the reciprocal, so we can say three over the square root of five. And maybe we rationalize this by multiplying numerator and denominator both by square root of five. We get three square root of five over five. And then finally, cotangent goes hand in hand with tangent, only it's its reciprocal. I'm gonna use this first version, the two over the square root of five. Invert that, we get square root of five over to a no ra radical in the denominator, so we're good to go. All right, hope this helps out as you're using the Pythagorean theorem and working with SOHCAHTOA on trying to find these trigonometric ratios. Good luck.